All right, what's going on guys? So my name is Liam. We're here right now with our top sales guy, Victor Carpe. This guy right here is only 18 years old. He's still in grade 12. He absolutely kills it on the phone. He's been doing sales for how many years? Three years? Yep, three years ever since grade 10 at the yeah. beginning of COVID when I got uh, hired here. Yeah. yeah, so he's been doing this for three years. He's always like, he's setting records every single year. He's our top sales guy. There is like this comp new competition though, Amy. She's doing pretty good though, eh? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, it's yeah, it's about time too. But yeah, she's uh, great on the phone. She works for WestJet for eight years. So she's got uh, got the talking to people down oh. and uh, yeah, and gives you and her me a run even. for my money every single day. She nice. is phenomenal on the phone as well. So yeah. uh, if you guys like this, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel because we'll post another one with one of uh, Amy's uh, sales calls. Yeah, so what we're gonna do uh, today here is we're gonna review one of Victor's calls. So we're gonna put Victor in the spotlight here. So this, uh, just tell us a bit about the call here. Um, so this girl here, um, she was calling in from Red Deer and she was just looking for uh, some lawn care, uh, initially just fertilizer and weed control. And so in this call, I walk her through our four different packages and I go for recommending our best seller, the St. Bernard. Um, at the end of the call, she said she needed to talk to the husband. Um, so I did a tentative booking by getting her card on file, um, followed up the next day and ran it through. So it's an example of a call where you kind of upgrade through the packages, um, get them to that bulkier lawn care service. And, um, and yeah. overcoming the objections of usually like the typical objection is husband, wife, right? Husband, wife. Yeah. I need some time to think about it. Just going through those objections and yeah. Um, yeah. Let's hear it. We'll get some insight. Right. Let's do it. Rock and roll. All right. Hell yeah. Hello. Oh, good morning. Is this Charlene? Hello. Oh, hello. Is this Charlene? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, good morning, Charlene. My name is Victor with the lawn care company Yard Dogs. Uh, how are you doing today? Good, thanks. Awesome. Um, perfect. Well, I just see here that you guys are uh, looking for a quote on lawn care, and we'd love to be of assistance. Um, yes. Um, I, uh, I, I don't know what my yard needs. Um, <clears throat> It, but it needs help. Mm -hmm. um, there's seven trees in my yard, so oh, it's, wow. mm -hmm. um, it, I've got a lot of roots coming up, and oh, um, okay. I don't know if, I, 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 I don't know if the grass is going to grow okay, because okay. of the trees, and so I, I'm just calling for, um, to get an idea of, um, what can we do and how much would it cost? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. We have a package that we recommend. It's called our St. Bernard. It's yeah. our second biggest option, and it's also our best seller. So just quickly right there, you just yeah. go straight. So just for you guys that don't know our packages, we have about four packages, the Pomeranian, the Gold Retriever, the St. Mm -hmm. Bernard, and the Great Dane. The St. Bernard is one of the top two packages. Yep. Why did you just go instantly like to the St. Bernard? Why did you not address any of like her tree roots or any of that stuff that she's talking about? Because you could have went like in a rabbit hole yep. talking about, oh yeah, trees, this and that. Yeah. So why did you not talk about that, not even acknowledge it? And then why did you go straight to like the highest package? Well, so I'd say when you have that first minute of the call where yep. you listen to what the client's property is specifically struggling with, yep. from there, you don't have to repeat back to them, oh, the tree roots are sucking up all the nutrients and the grass isn't growing. You're just saying the exact same thing they've told you. Mm -hmm. Once they've told you the initial problem with your property, then you can go straight for a recommendation because the only reason you're making that recommendation is because of the problem they said in the first place. You don't have to repeat it. Yeah. From there, it's like they've given you the information. Mm -hmm. Now it's time to recommend a package and go right in for it from there. Because okay. um, what I'll do from here on out is I'll explain why the St. Bernard is a package catered to getting grass growth where your lawn's struggling with the tree roots sucking up all the moisture and taking that away from the lawn. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. Cool. Um, it does really well with kind of doing some soil conditioning and breaking up the clay content so that all the water you apply isn't just sucked up by the trees in the yard. <laughs> um, if I can start with your address, I'm just going to measure the square footage and can give you a price and rundown. Okay, I'm at... Um... It's, it's a good point too, just to clarify the address to make yeah. sure that, okay, we don't want to be quoting the wrong property, number one, for like the wrong square footage, but yeah. even more importantly, we don't want to send the wrong technician to like a place, right? So it's always good yeah. to reference oh yeah, right across from like that park yeah. or right across from like the boulevard or whatever it's going to be. And especially, right? you know, when we're just servicing Calgary or the inner city, it's pretty easy. Once you get to just outside of a city or in the southern part of it in a brand new neighborhood, 
even though Google Maps is pretty reliable, you always want to double check on those newly coded areas because, yeah, you don't want to have a yeah. technician wasting their time. And Absolutely. Yep. Good call. Perfect. All righty. So our St. Bernard package, it's 450 plus GST. And with the service, we will do five months of fertilization for you and five months of weed control. Uh, we will also do a treatment called Spring Super Juice. And Super Juice is what is super helpful for those areas that are struggling. It actually balances the pH of the lawn from an alkaline 8 to a neutral 7. Um, it also organically breaks up the clay content inside of the soil to make room for new growth. And so once that super juice is in there, new life can actually start to pop through without being weighed down <laughs> by all of those trees, etc. True, true. Then we would do a sea kelp application for you mid-season. Um, the sea kelp that we do, it actually acts as a sunscreen for the lawn. It stops it from burning up in our really hot months when things are quite dry. And then we would do an aeration for you. That would be done in the fall, not the spring. We notice in springtime, aeration makes your lawn a lot worse because it almost sets up the lawn for a dandelion infestation. Whereas when we do the aeration in the fall, it only promotes grass growth and it stops your lawn from being suffocated by the snowfall. Um, it'll retain it so there's less of that winter burn. And then we also give you a complimentary bag of seed with the package in the spring. And that can be applied to areas that are struggling and it's applied with that super juice. So that way you have the best soil conditions for it to take in. And we actually see new permanent growth coming in for that. And then we'll give you a second bag of seed with that fall aeration so that if there's still bare patches or you need some further growth, that seed will stay dormant during our five months of winter. Um, translate to a whole bunch of new growth for the springtime there. And uh, you get seeding at the two best times of the year with that service, the spring and the fall. Um, so that's our St. Bernard. And we find that, yeah, if you have bare spots, thin patches, whether that be from the dog, uh, spruce tree, or just the trees sucking up too much roots, it really takes your lawn from being below average to, you know, the best on the block. And as long as you're watering with that loss, uh, we can see some great improvement and, um, yeah, get that all done for you. So any thoughts or questions on that service? So right here, it's about four minutes and 47 seconds into the call. Yeah. And ideally at that point, you wanna hear what their problem is with the property. From there, okay, this is the package I recommend for you. You get their square footage. And at the five minute mark, you wanna have the package explained from start to finish because you're, you're right at the halfway point of the call. Now for the remainder of the call, they can ask any of their specific questions, but they get what the service is. Yeah. Um, and I don't know, it just sets it up from here. Any thoughts or questions, they ask their questions, ask their objections, and you've explained why it's gonna fix specifically the problem of the tree roots sucking up the moisture. Um, why? Because the super juice is gonna break up the clay content so your lawn can actually get the water it needs to grow. So how long of a call is too long? So like, would you say like when it gets, starts going over, like how yeah. many minutes? Is it like, okay, it's just gonna be a waste of time. Yeah. Gotta hang up, gotta like move on. So uh, the big thing you want to look for is um, I would say at the eight minute, nine minute mark, what I always like to do is if they're still asking lots of questions then, then mm -hmm. you want to say like, hey man, right now, like I got four missed calls. I'm behind on them. Um, you know, we're right now, the weather's warm. Everybody's calling in because they want to get their lawn done. Mm -hmm. uh, what I can do for you is if you want to book this now, I can answer your last few questions here for the next three minutes and then we can set it up. If you were looking to think about this overnight, how about I send you an email quote? Yeah. I'll follow up tomorrow. We can, you know, talk again for another five to six minutes tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but I just, I can't be on a call for 12, 14 minutes here. So, you'll, so you'll actually say that? I'll actually say that. Uh, not in this particular okay. call, but for about 90% of them, she mm -hmm. was pretty much wanting to book. Yeah. Um, but that's what I'll do because if they want to get those extra questions mm -hmm. answered, I'll just send them the email. We'll follow up tomorrow and have another eight minute conversation. If they say like, yes, I want to book, but I just have one or two more questions. Then yeah. you're like, Kate, it's going to be 14 minutes, which is too long of a call. Yeah. But if they're booking in a $500 package, it's mm -hmm. worth it. I agree. Okay. Yeah. So typically you, you try to stay under like that 10 minutes pretty much. Typically yeah. you try to stay under that 10 minutes. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Okay. Very good. Let's move on. Um, it, 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 um, yeah, it, it really helps me understand how the process works. Mm -hmm. uh, to seeing, seeing it now. Um, it, I, I just can't, um, I hate going outside, it's so bad. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. 
Yeah, no, for sure. And, you know, with the service, too, to make it as easy as possible for you, we'll send you an email and text the day before um, to let you know we're coming. We'll also send you recommendations for what to do to water the lawn, and that way you have all the tools you need to just make sure you're getting the best results possible, right? So that's a big thing for us as well. Okay. Okay, well, that answers my question. And I'll point this out too, just for any lawn care service. That's something customers really like to hear when they're on the phone considering something. They don't want to just hear about what you're applying, but they want to hear like, hey, we're a company that cares not just about the services we do, but what you're doing in the off hours. This package is going to work dependent on you doing the watering. Mm -hmm. And so you always want to let your people know if you're a good company, you have effective communication that sends an email afterwards saying this is the watering you have to do for it to take well. Um, so it's always important on a call. Um, people trust you a lot less if you're just saying we're going to come in and magically fix it. No, you have to say like it's a, you know, we do a lot, but the burden is also on you, the customer, to make sure you're watering with it and mowing properly. And when yep. you tell them that those email instructions are there, it's a big, big helper for closing any sale. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm just um, going to think about this before I book any. The typical line. Yeah, typical line. Got to think about okay. it. No, you don't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I will... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll think about it, and then I'll, I'll give you a call. That sounds excellent. So like the average like salesperson would be like, all right, yeah, no worries. Like, did yeah. you want to go ahead? Maybe you're like, maybe try <laughs> once more, right? So like, how can we sway from like, I'll think about it, I'll talk to my wife, I'll talk to my husband, to giving you the credit card. All right, let's hear it. If I might recommend, if this would be of interest in any way, shape, or form, Charlene, um, right now, because things are super busy, what I'd love to do if it works for you is we can always book in a service by just putting a card on file, it puts you into our schedule on a pay for service plan. Um, nothing gets scheduled for about a week just because we are super busy, right? But at least and I, I think actually during this time when we were, this is like March or whatever, we weren't busy. So that, no. was, that was a lie, but it works because it puts that urgency well, to the customer. And, and I wouldn't say it's a lie. It's okay. true that we're not super slammed on the phones, but mm -hmm. the honesty in it is the fact that even as a lawn care company, when you're not busy, mm -hmm. you know that the people you're booking in are still going to have to wait a long time because yeah. we're not busy on the phones, but we have 2,000 customers booked in. We yeah. haven't even started servicing because there's snow on the ground still. Yeah. So even though it's true that we're not slammed with incoming calls, we are busy because if you wait two weeks to book in, you're missing out on that ideal service time. That's so true. That's, that's, that's why there's a lot of honesty there. This way you're in the queue. If you decide in a week that, yes, I want to book in, I can give you a call to touch base, and then you're already in a week of the schedule, right? So you're not going to be in our backed up queue or anything, waiting a long time for services. You'll get them at an optimal time. Um, and if you decide that, no, we don't want long care for this year, I can just cancel the profile as nothing has been run through. Um, but would this be something that you'd be open to? Because I know with the St. Bernard, because there's so much spring growth in it, this just ensures that we get there at a good time. Um, if you guys do decide or you are going to decide anyway, then you know it doesn't put you into a backed up place in the schedule. And what I can do is if you want to go for this, I can set up the profile, but I'll still send you an email quote to chart funny at telephone.net. And I can even give you a call on Wednesday or Thursday just to confirm it. If you guys decide it's not for you, no worries. But at least that way you're not missing out on kind of that good timing. I think those are, um, okay. would that be okay with I you? I think that's a really good point. That like, mm -hmm. there's a, it's a win-win. It's a win for her because yeah. everyone, she doesn't have to call back, waste her time to like pay and decide yeah. all that. And she's, she's also like in the schedule early, but she doesn't pay right now. Yeah. Right, so you have the car on file, like you put it into like her, like her, her like court, like right there. It's like okay, if you don't call us back, we'll go ahead with it. Yeah. But maybe like within the next week, if we don't hear from you, or if you if you if you get back to us within a week here, what we can cancel if you want. Yeah. But if you don't get back to us, then we're just gonna go for it. And that's one you know? of the biggest things you'll encounter with any sort of sales jobs when you're on the phone is that yeah. humans are naturally lazy, right? We don't want to do things. We mm -hmm. don't want to call in. We don't want to talk for 10 minutes. You know, when we have a day off, we're not going to be thinking about calling into a lawn care company to get something done. You just yeah. want to enjoy your free time. Yeah. So you want to put the ball in their court to call in and cancel. Because if, if you put the ball in their court to book in, it's not going to happen. You're never going to get that call back. I mean, as yeah. a salesperson, that's all you hear. Okay, call you back in a week. Yep, I'll let you know. I'll reply to the email. 
lies, 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 lies. <laughs> it's, yeah. It doesn't work. So, you know, doing that, um, they like it because what happens when they book in is they get their welcome package from us. We yeah. have a dedicated customer service rep. Yeah. When they get that email from the dedicated customer service rep, they already love our service more. Mm -hmm. The confirmation includes a lot of information about the company. They get the professionalism aspect about it. They still get the email quote so they can still review all the options. And then I actually followed up with her two days later, booked her in, ran it through, and right now she's a happy customer. But she, you got the credit card on this call though, right? Credit card on this call. Uh, that, on that's very profile. key. If we didn't have a yeah. credit card, then this wouldn't work, but nope. the key is getting the credit card on file, maybe not yeah. charging it today, yeah. but charging it at a, at a date that you'll agree with like with her. Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah, it would be. Okay, oh, here we go. Here we go. So I'm yeah. gonna get a profile going for yeah. you, and then the email quotes to charge money at telus.net. Um, awesome. Can I get your last name? Wilson. Wilson. And out of all the packages we offer, did you want me to reserve you a spot for the St. Bernard or did you want to look at something above or below? Um, I think that one because uh, it's going to take a lot to get, get it started. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it, it's in desperate need, so. And one thing too that I always do on my bookings that people really love is I always recommend our most expensive package, the Great Dane or the St. Bernard, because it's our best seller. I give the six minute little spiel for it, why it's going to be the best for their lawn. I always end the spiel with fantastic and did you want to look at our options below or above? Because yeah. when I say that, it sends a message. I'm not trying to sell you on the biggest package. Mm -hmm. I think this is the best option. Do you want me to run through something that's cheaper? Do you want me to run through something that's bigger? Yeah. And then they no longer feel like I'm just going for the best seller. They're like, okay, this person's willing to quote me for a cheaper package. Yeah. He doesn't care about making the sale. What he cares about is making my lawn green and beautiful. Yeah, exactly. So when you put that option in there, it almost instantaneously, people are like, okay, they're recommending the St. Bernard for me. Um, they actually do think it's the best for my lawn. They get it. And the St. Bernard, you know, I think we have our highest renewals with the St. Bernard because yeah, it sure. just makes for the best lawn. Very, yeah, yeah. very good point. Absolutely. Yeah, go for the higher tier first. You, you don't want to start at the bottom, work your way up. You want to go yeah. for the highest one. If they want to go yeah. for the lower one, that's fine too, but okay. start at yeah. the higher one, you know? Let's do it. For sure. Well, we'll start with that. I'll still send you a quote so you can look through everything, but I, I'd recommend that as the starting point. And in the email, I'll put some before and after photos for you as well, just so you can see what our package is all about and would do oh, for yeah. you. Um, aside from that, Charlene, uh, one would work best for me to give you a follow-up on this. Um, let's see. Because I'll make sure, I'll put you in uh, to the schedule and everything. I'll make sure, though, that I put a hold until that date. So I'll yep. give you a call on that date just in case you guys do want to cancel or are ready to go through with this. We'll make sure we just touch base on it. Okay. So, um, um, well, how about the, the 19th? That gives me a few days to... Yeah to think about it. You yeah. got it, Charlene. I'll give you a shout on the 19th. <laughs> oh, that sounds so excellent. Funny. I'll send you the email quote today. And then if I can just get a card for the profile there, you guys are kind of safe for that spot. And uh, I'm looking forward to giving you guys a shout on Thursday to just nail it all down for you. Okay. Okay. Thank I think you. one big thing too with like uh, like now with like lawn care, credit cards are like the go-to cash, yeah. e-transfer, check. Don't do it. No. Like we don't. We haven't gone a single e-transfer. No cash. No nothing. Credit cards only. But I remember like back in the day, especially when I was back on sales like a couple of years ago, right? Yep. I would be like, I would literally say, all right, could I just get a Visa or a Mastercard? And, and by the way, we're, it's, <laughs> it's really secured. It's really yep. safe. We're not going to charge it. We're going to just only do the charge. Like once you get to the property, like I would be like super like nervous yeah. asking for the credit card. Yeah. It's so, like, what's your advice like to like the people like when you're asking for that Visa or Mastercard? How do you say it? Yeah, you don't want to sound like a scammer. So, you know, what, what do scammers do? Like, oh, can I please get your card? Um, I promise you that we're completely safe. We can't see the number. It's yeah. completely encrypted. As soon as you see that, what are you doing? Okay, your card's encrypted. Why are they telling me my card's encrypted? Shouldn't it be encrypted regardless? That makes me suspicious. We promise we're not going to run through anything. They shouldn't be running anything through anyway, so why are they promising this to me? Yeah. We promise nobody can see your card. Well, you know, 
that should be happening regardless. All of a sudden it arises suspicion after suspicion after suspicion in the yeah. customer's eyes. So when you have that mm -hmm. hesitancy, when you don't have the confidence, yeah. you're giving the customer a huge reason to doubt your company and to you know, no longer trust in you. Absolutely. So when you're asking for the card, you yeah. just want to ask the way any other company would, whether it's like a bank or you know, an online subscription service, just say fantastic. And for the payment, uh, would you like Visa, MasterCard, Visa Debit, or American Express? And, and that's then, a key. And then stop there. And, and then pause. stop there. You don't want to yeah. say, can I please get your Visa? Now it's a yes or no question. They can say yes or no. When you yeah. say Visa, Master, or American Express, you're presenting them with a option. Yeah. They're not thinking yes or no. They're thinking, okay, I can pick between Visa, Master, or American Express. What should I go for? So you, want, you don't mm -hmm. want to present it as an option between yes or no. You want to present it as an option, what card? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And it's got to be like no big deal. It's like, all right, sounds good. Uh, would that be on Visa or MasterCard? And then just pause, wait for them. They're like, oh yeah, Visa, 4529 or whatever it's going to be. As soon as you make it a big deal and you kind of keep going on and ranting and ranting and panicking when you're asking that, yeah. the credit card is not going to be given to you. Yeah. You lose the sale. All right. Let's do it. All right. No worries. Oh, sorry, are you still there, Charlene? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> okay, perfect. For it, we would just need a, either a Visa, Master, Credit Card, or American Express just to go. register on the profile. Um, and we can do whatever option works best for you. <laughs> yeah. Not, yeah. Um, Charlene, can you just give me a couple of days to think about this? Another Ooh, objection. another another <laughs> objection here. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking of uh, this way we can save you a spot, so you're not when you if you do decide on Thursday you want to book in, you don't have to wait like an additional four days from there. Uh, but I'd still send you the email quote today and make sure to give you a call on Thursday to just touch base. Um, so and that's, that's just you wouldn't sorry? be charging the credit card then. Exactly. Yeah, we wouldn't be charging it, but it does put you into the schedule. So if you do decide on Thursday, yes, I want yeah. to go ahead, um, you don't have to wait for those five additional days. You're already four days into the list for services. Um, it's just because in May we get so booked up and just everybody wants lawn care at the same time once that snowfall has melted. Um, it's just a way so that you get serviced at a better time if you do decide you want to go ahead. Um, if on Thursday you guys decide, no, we're going to wait till next year or whatever it is, um, you can just give us a call and we'll cancel it. And um, easy peasy as nothing's been taken out. It's just kind of holding you a spot. Yeah, uh, so, so well said. Yeah, the, so well we'll beautifully said. that same line again. Yeah. And the funny thing is, is that, yeah, once they give that card, um, once they book it in and get the confirmation in the welcome package, yeah. it's no longer you counting on the customer to give you a call back, which they don't want to do. They're super busy. You have to get them in on that first call. Once their interest mm -hmm. is no longer there and you're waiting a week to follow up with them, yeah. it's like the week when the day when they were thinking about lawn care is no longer. You're calling them when their mind is the least likely to book. Yeah. It's when they call in on that first call, submit that request. That's when they're most likely the close needs to happen on that. Day. Yeah, exactly. Very well. And I think like I'd like to point out too, like there's no panic. She's like, oh, I, like for the credit card, maybe like another like I don't know if I want to do it yeah. right now. There is no like oh like like you were speaking very slowly, very calmly. You know, and still said, okay, well, no worries. Like, hey, if you, if you don't want to go ahead, yep. like, easy peasy will take you out. There won't be any charges, no worries at all. You weren't panicking. You spoke very calmly, right? So let's see, let's see what happens. Yep. Anything you want to add? And then, well, the cool thing about this gal in particular is uh, once that call happened, I had my follow-up for Thursday. She actually called the following morning, replied to the email, and said, run it through like we're good to go. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, and that's the only reason. With the weather getting warm, everybody kind of just, we get like a tsunami of calls. <laughs> Okay, so it's uh, MasterCard. Awesome, alrighty, and was there anything else I could help you with? I'll send that email quote and then Thursday I'll uh, make sure to give you a ring. Okay, no, that's everything. Damn, so that's very impressive. Yeah, nice thank you. Yeah, it's a good call. Very impressive. So yeah, like you overcame like two objections right there. She's like looking for the package. You walked her through. She said, oh, I'll think about it. Yep. The average person would have just like let it go right there. Oh, okay, yeah, no worries. We'll, we'll call you like later on or whatever. Yep. You actually like got it from saying, okay, I'm not interested to like actually going ahead with the St. Bernard. Yep. And then it came to the part of the credit card, which is another, usually like a pretty big objection depending on their intention, oh, right? Yeah. And she's like, nope, no credit card yet. But then you worked around that credit card with 
like, hey, we'll get you into the schedule <laughs> earlier, which is true. Well, like, yeah. Because then your profile will actually be active. Oh yeah. Like on the on the system, right? Yep. And then uh, you said, but there's no harm done. Like we're not going to charge yeah. you today. We'll give you a week to decide. Yeah. If you decide not to go ahead, hey, no charge. We'll take your credit card off. Yeah. But hey, at least you don't have to wait around those extra four or five days. You'll get in the schedule sooner. Yep. Credit card on file. Yeah. Booked to good to go. And then you got that email the next day saying, hey, just charge your credit card. And the cool thing too, she was in Red Deer. So I knew we were doing around there pretty soon. Yeah. So, you know, it wasn't her best interest because, uh, you know, I didn't want her to miss out on that first round in Red Deer and have to wait back in the queue. So yeah. it worked out well for her. I think she's actually got her first service at a really reasonable time. That's awesome. Um, cool. And then the last bit of the call here. Perfect. Well, thank you so much and uh, have an amazing rest of your day, uh, Charlene. We'll talk again on Thursday here and your email quote is right on the way. Okay. Thank you. Awesome. All right. Cheers, Charlene. Bye for now. Bye. Nice. So I didn't end it this way here, but what I always like to do after a booking is I always say thank you so much for supporting local. That's really a great way to end any call when you're a local company because people, they love to support local. They love to, yeah, you know, a company that's putting jobs into the place that they're living at and that they call home. Yeah. Um, so ending it with that always helps. And then, yeah, she got her welcome email from the dedicated customer service rep mm -hmm. with a personalized video just welcoming into the company, that confirmation yeah. email. And instead, uh, I think this call was on Monday, the Tuesday morning. She called and she's like, yeah, we don't got any hesitancy. It's like, you guys can just book it through. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, good job, man. That's a really, really good example. Yeah. If you guys like these kind of videos, right? Selling on the phone, right? Doing all the, right? This, this right here is a 11 minute call. That's yeah. it. You got the credit card, the sale, everything good to go. If you guys like these videos, would like to see more sales tips from Victor or from Amy. Yeah. Who are advanced sales reps. I don't think there's like anyone honestly probably <laughs> better than you on the phone for selling lawn care. Like, Honestly, like in North America. I'm not even kidding. Well, thank you. This guy kills on the phone. <laughs> if anyone can compete with this guy, you're you're lucky to be you're lucky to have somebody like that good. So yeah. thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, thank you guys. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell All yeah, right. let's go. Let's go. Cool. All right. Nice.